so before you even ask, it has been a cold day today. Thank God, because I have been waiting for the sweater weather and for the scarf weather, if you know what I'm saying. I love when it starts to get cold. I really do not like the summer and the hot weather. Like, let's be honest. Okay, so as you guys know, I love to read and I have some book recommendations for you guys. Okay, so these are for the people who love to read like journal type books and it is by the same author which is anonymous you don't get to know the author's actual real name as go ask Alice I'm sure all of you have read that book I have read it like a million times literally I used to have it but I got rid of it because I read it so much I have never read any of these but this is the same type of gist all of these and I know they're gonna be amazing. Um, I know a lot of people think that Go Ask Alice is a true story, but I firmly believe that the person who is making these journals is just an author. I mean, I don't wanna burst anyone's bubble or anything, but that's just like how I feel. Um, either way, real or not, they're, they're amazing stories. Um, like I said, I've never read any of these, I've only, read the Go Ask Alice. I'm gonna be reading these and I'm super excited but I kinda wanted to show you guys these, give you guys an idea of some books to read. I'm just gonna read the back of them for you guys because why not? You can see if you wanna, you know, get yourself some. These from, uh, pretty sure I went to Barnes and Noble, yes. They were pretty cheap. They were only $9.99, like what? So if that's, good for you guys you guys can get them there or you can do Amazon because I'm pretty sure it'll be even cheaper there okay so let's get into this this one is Jay's journal on the back it says December 18th things are going from worse to impossible I'm fighting a losing battle Jay thought he could handle anything the first time he took drugs was for fun but what started as an escape quickly spiraled into a haze of addiction that was just the beginning of the dangerous path that ultimately led Jay to take his own life. Wow. That's deep. That's, that's just too deep. That's too deep for me, but I'm going to read it anyway. <laughs> this one is called Letting Anna Go. Saturday, June 30th. I just got on the scale in mom's bathroom. Mayday. It literally says Mayday. My head is pounding. I feel bloated. This is the price I pay for not sticking to my guns yesterday. Is it worth it? The answer is no. This is the story of a girl. She was an athlete with a bright future. She only wanted to lose a few pounds. Once she started to lose weight, she couldn't stop. The feeling she got from getting thinner was addicting. She felt powerful, in control. She didn't realize she was starving herself to death. Follow her devastating journey in her own words and the diary she left behind. Honestly, this makes me want to cry just reading the back of it. I am so excited to read this because as you guys know, I also struggle from a food addiction. Uh, hers is quite different than mine, but an addiction is an addiction. A disorder is a disorder. Um, wow. Wow. I'm really excited to read that. Whew, I'm getting a little emotional just thinking about it. This one's called Calling Maggie May. Friday, February 20th. After that last date, I'm thinking again about quitting. Not for my parents, not for Ada, but because it might be the right thing for me. Maybe it's time to stop living in this crazy fantasy because it is starting to seem not so fantastic. It was supposed to be fun. She was always responsible at home, at school, at everything. Nothing was just for fun. Nothing was just for herself. But then an opportunity presented itself and she had to make a choice. A choice that would change everything. Now she has it all. No more worries about parents. No more worries about school. No more responsibility. But if no one's responsible, who does she turn to when her choice goes wrong? Read her story from the beginning in the diary she left behind. When they say in, in the diary they left behind, does that mean they die? 
like, uh, I know Alice dies. The Book of David, Wednesday, November 6th. I had a little lisp. <laughs> Wednesday, November 6th. Why does this have to be so complicated? I don't even know how I feel inside right now or what I want. My shoulders are so tense that I can feel the knots forming in my neck. I'm hunched over this notebook, bracing for an impact like at any moment my whole life will come crashing down around me. I have to talk to John. Life should have been perfect. He had everything, a family, friends, a girlfriend, an undefeated football team, and a half a dozen sports scholarships. He also had a secret, a secret that was tearing him up from the inside. Then he met someone who could understand him and his secret like no one else could. But nothing stays secret forever. Read what happened in his own words. Keeping his secret was hard, but it was nothing compared to what happened when everyone else found out. I feel like his secret is that he's gay. I don't know for sure, but for some reason I get that feeling. And I'm gay, so I know I'm going to really enjoy that one. So the last one is called Lucy in the Sky. November 20th. I wish I'd never done any of it. It's not because it made me feel so bad. It's because it made me feel so good. It can happen to anyone. She was a good girl living a good life. One night, one party, everything changed. She thought it was fun. She thought she could handle it. She didn't think anything bad would happen. She was young. She was wrong. Read her story in her own words from the diary she left behind. What do you mean? Why'd she leave it behind? Where'd she go? Anyways, I'm journal journal books are my favorite. I love them. I love the format. I love how personal and deep they are. I'm super excited to read these. If you guys like books like this, check them out. Check them out. Um, I'm currently reading some random book about um, these two people who meet online on accident and they email back and forth and they start to fall for each other. Love stories like that too. But I'm more than positive one of these are going to be my next read. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there's a lot of readers out there. I know I am one for sure. Uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you.